You want to host a Minecraft server on your own PC in 2025? Let's get started. First things first, go to the second link down below. That'll take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on making a Minecraft server and hosting it on your own computer. Now, this goes over everything in text format, which I know some people prefer, but if you're more of a video person, which is probably why you landed on this video, go ahead and click the download Minecraft button here to go to Minecraft's official download page. This is where you'll be able to download the most recent Minecraft server.jar file. So for right now, that's for 1.21.5. In the future, it'll be for 1.22.5. Whatever version is the most recent can be downloaded here. Once you're here, go ahead and click the Minecraft underscore server.jar link here, and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file, but this is Minecraft's official website. So it's 100% safe to do that, and we need to do that by clicking save here. Now, while it's downloading, I do want to mention something. This is not a 24-hour server. It's only going to be up and running while your own computer's up and running because you're hosting it on your own computer. You're also going to need a decent computer in order to run this server, and it's on your own internet connection as well, meaning anyone who gets the IP address of this server can DDoS you, which means hit your internet offline, and they can also figure out where you lived under your latitude and longitude coordinates, so it's important that this is only for people you basically invite over to your house. If you don't have to worry about any of that, your computer's hardware, your internet, anything like that, check out our company at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown of XYZ slash simple to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods to your server, mod packs to your server, and customize your server any way that you want, and you don't have to worry about your computer's hardware or anything because Simple Game Hosting uses high-quality hardware and has DDoS protection, so you don't have to worry about that as well. Plus, there's expert live chat support there. When you host to server on your own computer, you'll often run into issues. Things may stop working, all that stuff. If for whatever reason you added a mod to your simple game hosting server, for example, tried to join it and it just didn't work anymore, there's expert live chat support there to help you out and get your server back online or working exactly how you want it. So you guys are going to simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash simple. Nevertheless, with our server.jar downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is right click and create a new folder on the desktop. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it 2025 self hosting server because, well, that's what we're doing here. We're self-hosting a server in 2025. We want to go ahead and open up our downloads folder because that's probably where your server file went. We can drag and drop that into that 2025 self-hosted folder we created. Open this up and once we're in here, we have this server.jar. Now, if you don't have .jar, no worries. Go ahead and click view and then show file name extensions. If this isn't checked, it'll just say server. I would recommend clicking view show file name extensions to make it show dot jar at the end just so things don't get confusing because this is what I'm going to be running here. Now at this point you should be able to double click on your server and it'll attempt to start but it will fail and it'll generate some files and folders. What if it doesn't though? Well if it doesn't it's because you need Java 21. Java 21 is required to run a Minecraft server and this is our in-depth guide on getting it. How to download it, how to install it, text format, video format, here and ready to work. Now you'll also need to run the jar fix. So first get Java 21, get it installed, then run the jar fix. Also linked down below, this is going to take all the jar files on your computer, specifically that server.jar, link it back to Java, and make them work together. But first, get Java 21, then run the jar fix, and you're good to go. You'll be able to double click on that server.jar, and it will generate these files and folders. The one we need is eula.txt. Open that up, and assuming you agree to the Minecraft DOLA, which we do, change eula equals false to eula equals true. T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Click File, Save, and now when you double-click that server.jar, your server will start. And it's joinable by you, and only you at this point. So I'm going to go ahead, open up the Minecraft Launcher, show you how you can join the server. Let's join the server now, make sure it's not lagging, make sure we don't have any issues, and assuming that's all good, we'll talk about allowing your friends to join this server. The server is now started, we know that because it says done right there, and Minecraft is open. We can go to multiplayer here, click proceed if you need to, and add a server. Now you can name the server anything you want, I'm going to name it local connection, because this is a local connection that only you can use to join the server. No one else can join the server using this IP, and that IP is localhost, all one word exactly like that, and when you type that in and click done, the server will resolve. You can double click on local connection, and you'll see us join in here on the left hand side, right like so. Now we're on this server, I'd recommend running around a bit, loading some chunks, making sure you don't lag. If you don't, your friends will be able to join most likely, and you'll be able to host this server on your own computer, which is awesome. However, how do you do that? How do your friends join? Well, for your friends to join, you will need to port forward. And in the description down below, we have an in-depth guide on how to port forward for a Minecraft server. It goes over everything you need to know from start to finish to allow your friends to join this server. From finding your router's username and password, to logging in, to port forwarding itself, what ports to forward, and then joining your server via the public IP, which is how your friends will join the server. It is all covered in this guide, super in-depth. There's even troubleshooting, FAQs, things like that. So go check this out if you want to port forward and allow your friends to join, which I'm guessing you do. 
Also in the description, we have how to fix a broken Minecraft server because it is more likely your Minecraft server will break at some point than not break. And it's just because of how Minecraft servers are made and IPs work and all that stuff, things will change. And this guide goes through everything you need to know. 20 minutes, I mean, just troubleshooting different Minecraft servers issues. It's worth checking out because you're probably going to run into an issue and it'll be covered in that video. So when it comes up, you'll be like, hey, I've already seen this. I've seen this before. We can fix it. And this prepares you to be able to fix those issues. But nonetheless, with your port forwarding complete, your friends will be able to join via your public IP and you will be hosting a Minecraft server on your own computer. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Enjoy your Minecraft server and we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.